Hello. Hi, everybody. I'm Jeffrey Zeldman from Anaventa Park. And with me today, all the way from Salem, Mass, is Dan Cedarholm. Hi, Dan. Hey, Jeffrey. How's it going? Thanks for having me. Pleasure. Before we talk, I want to just fill the people in. I'm sure most people watching this know you, but uh, you may know Dan from Simple Bits, his website, or the many Simple Bits books on web design that he wrote over the years. You may remember him from faux backgrounds and other clever CSS <laughs> workarounds that Dan came up with so designers could do real layouts in CSS, even in the days of IE5. Um, you may be familiar with Dribble, the online community of designers that Dan co-founded. Or you may have come specifically because you're a fan of Dan's latest book, 20 Bits I Learned About Design, Business, and Community. It's this beautiful little red book. Um, Ebook versions of which we are giving away to folks who register for an event apart. That's right. So, uh, okay. Thank you, Jeffrey. So this is this is a book. Let's talk. Let's start by talking about the book. This is a book yeah. um, full of uh, basically everything you've learned. <laughs> well, at least twenty things. <laughs> but it's it's very small. Yeah, yeah, it's small. But that's because it's focused. Yes. Yes. It has drawings. Yeah. Right? Arguably so you artistic. It yourself. Terms. Yeah. So you I illustrated it yourself. I did. Yeah. And I'm not. I'm not an illustrator by any means. But I wanted to. I wanted to have some organic feel, mid-century aesthetics to this thing, and uh, you know, two-color offset printing, and um, that was the vision initially. Oh wow! So, yes. Yeah. I yeah. had a joke book like this when I was a kid. Oh really? Oh nice. Century. Yeah. Yeah, and it had this like same finely textured. Uh, yeah. You. Did people bring you these and you looked through them all and picked the one that was like just the right texture? Yeah, yeah. I worked so there's a printer I worked with. Um, they're called Audi Sale. Or actually, I'm not sure if it's sales or Salis, but uh, it's a, a Icelandic um uh company run by you know one person, one guy, Martin, and he was fantastic to work with. And and uh he actually sent me, you know, we talked about the design that i had in mind he sent me some samples of all the cloth and you could pick the colors and that stuff's i just love that stuff it's fun all the little details you I know the ribbon color a, and <laughs> yeah i had yeah. a tailor in san francisco um al's 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 uh, attire and he would just open a box he'd say I got this from Italy. It's been sitting in storage for 50 years. It would be like <laughs> stuff they would have made a suit for uh, a movie star of the 50s, but yeah, then they uh, didn't. And so like we just go through just go through cloth like kids with buttons and everything and then sort of pick materials and then man, design your own clothes. That sounds that glorious. Now. It was it was pretty awesome. That sounds like pretty awesome. That's the it's that old way. It's the it's the mid century way, right? The mid century or even way. Older than that, but of but course, yeah, with the book, I, I just it, wanted to do that. I just had that aesthetic were, in mind. If this were the mid century, neither of us would be doing. I don't know what I'd be doing now. Teaching, <laughs> uh, yeah, piccolo in a in a community college. I don't really know what what I'd be doing. But did you play I mean, piccolo and? In, in, when I did younger? play flute. I played did flute you? badly. Yeah. Yeah, not in band. I just picked it up because I thought, oh, Jeff Rotel. Yes. Oh, King Crimson. Yeah. Oh, King Crimson. Like I just love totally. stuff like this. Uh, but uh, I was not very good. I, I play keyboards. And you play yes, obviously bass and guitar that. and ukulele and yeah, I yeah, I've always had instruments around. I just love uh to pick up anything that has strings on it or drums and um yeah, it's been uh that's you know music geez that's my artistic beginnings were just music and do you uh, ever was, do any recording yeah i you know what's funny is i i did when in my in my 20s you know i did and then and then kind of stopped um when it came time to actually make a living and in, in in that kind of thing and 
Um, I just recently got back into doing some just home, home recording. I think the pandemic has helped. I can't believe I said that pandemic has helped, but um, there being are some stuck silver inside, linings. there are, there are, you have to, I think you have to look at silver linings for, for things like that. But uh, yeah, being stuck inside has kind of like rejuvenated some music in me for whatever reason. So I've had, I'm having fun, like re, you know, reacquainting myself with uh, making music. That's great. How about, how about you? You you still? I want to do that. The keys? I do play the keyboards. My my yeah. daughter wrote a song recently. Oh man! Oh my god! We awesome. We did it the way my brother and I made multi track recordings when we were kids. Like she sang. I I played my keyboard into my phone, <laughs> and then she oh, brought wow. headphones and sang from my phone into iMovie on the Mac, and then she layered them together and mixed it in in iMovie, which you know wow you did everything wrong but it was kind of it kind of worked and it was like primitive multi-tracking you know like, i love it like, that's that's actually brilliant bless like paul can you believe yeah, i kept telling yeah, her it wouldn't paul. work <laughs> <She's brilliant. laughs> I, I kept saying that won't work you can't synchronize it that's not gonna hmm. well your kids uh they're they're yeah. 15 and 12 15 now? and 12 yeah now so yeah so they're they're doing all sorts of things. My daughter actually likes to sing. She's she's got music in her. My my uh, son does piano, so it's music's in there too. Yeah. I, you just reminded Partridge me, like, family. Yeah, Partridge Family, yeah, Partridge Family, yeah, the family band. But I, you know, you just reminded me, like recording when I was, um, you know, I was in middle school, and I remember like having this band, and we re we had to rent a cassette four track machine. Cash that was, cam. yeah, exactly, and. Uh, and we only had, you know, we rented it for like one day or like half a day or something. And it was like super expensive and we had to do everything on that cassette. And, um, but the, there is some, there's some nice parts of having that constraint, I think. And uh, that's interesting about iMovie, like the constraint, that constraint might lead to some really kind of original things, right? Yeah. 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 Didn't, uh, yeah. yeah. Some people's best music, best art comes when they just, they run out of it like they run out of one of their tubes of paint yes right so yep. like or what's the the gene miller story the guy in the 30s uh his saxophonist got injured so he ended up making music with just trombones and uh trumpets and that became the glenn miller that became the glenn, oh, miller, glenn miller sound oh man I this sound that's happened because uh, according to the movie with jimmy stewart is this true i probably not but in the <laughs> movie with jimmy stewart like the saxophonist, I don't know. And probably the guy like was, was had a heroin problem or something, but in the movie, <laughs> uh, like his wife was having a baby, right. so he couldn't be there at the gig. So they get, or whatever. I don't, it's been a while since I saw <laughs> that one, but. Uh, I got to watch this because that, that is cool. I love Glenn Miller. He's, he, like, he has a sound really too. Good. Yeah, really good. Totally and there's a, a distinct sound. That's fascinating. I bet it's true too. Well, the constraint is why he has that sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Doing without something every other dance band in the country had. I love it because we have so like we have so much at our fingertips now with technology that it's kind of like, you know, where is that constraint? So like, we almost have to manufacture that constraint. Um, like Prince leaving the bass out in um, Sign of the Times. Oh wow! Prince yeah. had everything. Prince had his own studio. He right, have, his own studio. Could have had a million instruments if he yes. wanted to, and he played them all. Yep. And he knew everybody. He knew all the musicians, yeah. and he also played everything. But he decided, eh, we'll leave out the bass. We'll leave out the it's bass. It's going to be drums I and guitar. That. I love it. And people would I'm going to leave out the bass, and people will dance. And they did. Constraints, baby. Constraints. Constraints. So, Constraints are so good. you constrained yourself to 20. Yes. Yeah, you learned. Exactly. Well, that, that, that's funny. Not to be like, super marketing -y here but we're talking that's okay off the cuff about constraints and that's exactly what i had to do with self-publishing a book like all right it's going to be short it's going to be two colors it's going to i'm going to do the illustration even though i'm i'm terrible pretty terrible at drawing and uh and that was the way i got excited about about it rather than like oh my god i want to i want to write a book about things i learned and no totally right like there's that's just too overwhelming like the, where do i start how like you know so just having that like framework in place i think was really helpful 
if I, when I had, when I was in client services and I had to write a white paper, my mind rebelled against it. And so I would spend a lot of time thinking about white space and fonts. I would set up <laughs> the layout of the thing. Yeah. And then I was happy and I was going, oh, this looks really good. Of course it had to make sense and solve yeah. the client's problem. But the main thing, and speaking of photography, that's one of the, that's like, isn't that like bit yeah. number three? Yeah, it's one of the one like of the typography. It's one of the early ones. It's one of the early the ones. Yeah. Thing, what is it? The most important thing you can learn about design. Yeah, I think it's like the mo one of the most important skills you can learn as a designer. Um, oh. I, I think so. I mean, I think that you know, you could you could say. I mean, I don't know if it's the only skill, but I just find it so important in terms of you know, take everything out else out that you can do with color and images and whatever it is but you know good typography in terms of showing hierarchy and making it easy to read and getting your point elevating the content to where it should be is like so crucial and it's like such an it's such a free thing once you um just learn the basics of of uh, of setting type correctly i think it's it goes so far it goes so far um you not only set type you you design your own fonts and I, I think i think maybe even one of them is used in use on the cover no so that yeah you know? that that one's actually um cooper or is it the, oh it's um, cooper okay yeah cooper yeah and in, in fact when i made the book i i hadn't started fonting yet and so that's kind of a newer a newer a newer endeavor for me again pandemic um inspired, <laughs> inspired i guess like just well, uh like wanting to the ink yeah. this this will be impossible to show but yeah so the name cedar home on the edge because yeah. it's there's so much tooth yeah. to the material of the hardcover book which i recommend people buy um then the the ink sort of does weird things in the little yeah. It's like you're putting it on cloth. printing on cheesecloth or something. Yeah. And yeah, the exactly. result is that it looks more like one of your hand wrought fonts. Yeah. Than, yeah the, totally. than the perfectly wrought Cooper font that it is. Yeah. It looks I, like I, it looks like one of your I, agree. I was passing a boys uh, a boys a gymnasium and I saw an old Boy Scout sign and I made a <laughs> like the thing that you do where you just right or yes. I saw a gas station and I said that's I'm gonna make a font from that. Uh, totally true yes i absolutely i'm inspired by like just signs around town that i've been walking by for 20 years and like saying god that i wish that could be a font and uh and then finally like this past year really just finally being like oh you know what i'm I'm just gonna do i'm just gonna dive into this and try to do it and then turns out like i love it and i think finding the right tool to create them was key for me which is What's glyphs it's called glyphs glyphs app and that was a game changer uh i think i i've heard about it from jennifer and amy hood i was interviewing them for a podcast and they they had been making fonts their own fonts and they said we use glyphs and you've got to check it out and i'm like okay and then immediately it was like wow this is going to make life easier because i remember making fonts back in um trying to make a font back in early 2000s you know uh like a pixel font using i think it was either font lab or it was one of the old ones it was impossible you had to have like a phd in computer science or something to use it and well, you had to be a type, a real uh type designer exactly you had to be you had to have studied it in school and and also studied like how to use the application in order to create them and it it just the barrier to entry there was huge and glyphs really takes that away and, it, and it's catered towards um i mean it's catered towards actual type designers but it's also catered towards anyone that creates you know vector artwork so it's a garage um, band versus yeah, a kind of yeah versus like going into a 48 track studio right yeah it's not abbey road it's garage band well it's funny it's that's interesting i i think that on the surface, yes, it, it actually does have, it's really powerful under the hood, but that powerfulness, <laughs> is that right, um, is is not overwhelming when you first use it. And that, and I think that's a sign of like a good software, right? It's it's like, 
it makes it look like it's easy and it look, makes it look approachable. Like anybody can jump in there and start working. And then as you learn more about making fonts, I think those tools are there, but they're just not like in your face and, and in the way. So um, it's like just in time and web and product design. Yeah. Right. Where totally. you use something, it's very simple. And then you get to a, a sort of a tipping point. And, totally. And you realize that now I need some extra help. And so not clippy, but like a <laughs> right. equivalent of clippy sort of comes in and goes, Hey, now you can do this. Totally. Yeah. That's and that's, that's good. That's good design, right? That's good interface yeah. design, I think. Um, and we can do it now. Yeah. We couldn't always do it. Remember no. when, when no. the iPhone was new and Koi Vin made this beautiful uh, parody of apps where he said like, how to use the book. And it showed yeah. that before you ever read a book, he was like, turn the page to get more content and just right, but right originally right. we had to put the instructions up front because it was a new interface design and nobody knew what to do and now right now it's more like it's like when second you need nature. to turn a page yeah when i need to turn a page the thing just sort of rises to meet me yeah it's interesting how that happens right like even like menus and things that are now standard right had to be explained initially um yeah. it's moving so fast i don't i don't know i used to what the first websites i designed i used to say like please utilize the navigation bar at the top of the page like, <laughs> you will find right. links in the <laughs> sidebar yeah. right no but you had to you had to right because absolutely you had to because you know just think it was your dad your dad was going to come yeah. across the website and you have yep. to explain what to do yeah Plus, back then, everything we used used to. Do you remember? You're, you're probably too young, but when I first started using <laughs> computers, they had these donuts that they would wrap around. So, like, you'd have a Windows machine, and you you you'd put in WordStar on a floppy, and then you get this big donut and wrap it around the screen, and you'd look at the commands, and it would Whoa. tell you like what seven really? keys to hold down to make something bold. Yeah. What? Oh, that would go around the keyboard or around the screen? It would go around the monitor. Oh my God. Okay. Right. And oh, right. Right. It would, using. Would, yes. Like, and it would explain. You what, do remember yes. this? I do. Okay. I do. I remember one. I had one uh, word perfect and it, it, it went on the, yeah. key, the, the keyboard basically. And it was like telling you which keys oh. to press for which, which command. Yeah. Remember? Oh, man. That's crazy. <laughs> that is totally oh. nuts. Yeah. And now we do the opposite. And because design is hard, yeah. because we've all learned so much, that's why we have a conference. Uh, in fact, the Spring yeah. Summit is coming up very soon. It's coming up real soon. And it looks like amazing. I, I, re, like, I have a lot of fond memories of um, speaking at an event apart. Always was always my favorite conference. And this is not uh, a paid advertisement. I'm literally... Um, waxing nostalgic here but like this is this looks fantastic and how jeffrey how have the bringing this online how how has it been like how like i i will i want to say before i answer your question yeah. just what a great speaker you are and anytime you feel like you have a craft story to tell our audience would love to have you back oh right on that. i appreciate that um so Getting it online instead of live, um, it actually turns out to be a lot of work. You wouldn't I think bet. so, but I bet. Um, I bet. especially for Toby Molina, our producer, oh yeah, who takes hundreds of hours of videos and edits them, and our speakers oh, wow. are all great, but you know, it, it's like it's like a recording studio again. To go back to that, where there's takes like yeah miles okay. miles we're going to take that your trumpet solo from here but we're going to take the bass solo from here we're going to cut those together or, or the oh Beatles wow re re they'd record in different keys on yep. different days at different at different tempos and go put it together george and george wow. had to put it together but so it's i mean these are professionals they're great speakers but still there's like invisible editing that takes place to put this stuff because wow of Molina. i and, had no um, idea oh toby's awesome and i that's incredible um so it's not live then it's like you're you're putting this together so the quality it's live it's both it's both okay it's both so wow. 
so the person pre-records their talk then they're in attendance while their talk is going on and while other people's talks are going on yep. and they're chatting in this chat that we have set up so you you can watch the video and interact with them Whoa. um then then there's live q a after every talk oh yes no matter where the, okay. so, right so yeah anything that wasn't clear and it's moderated eric wow. meyer or i will sort of pass along the questions that folks have been typing into the chat or or any number of other places hopefully in the chat but but yeah uh, so that's we brilliant don't have the donuts i think the only thing missing <laughs> right the donuts. so so the good news yeah. is no no arguments over air conditioning as you know at conferences <laughs> it's impossible to yeah. get those big rooms yeah. so there's always someone who's cold and someone who's hot absolutely and you can never make everybody happy with that so <laughs> that's not a problem because they're in their homes we're yeah. all in our homes it's up to offices. it's their fault then <laughs> so it well it's no fault they just you know yeah they just deal or, with or but but there's no donuts no there's so no Marcy donuts the ever would make yeah. these like or she'd get whoopie pies when we did it in um in boston right if we were in massachusetts she yeah. would, there would be lobster roll and boston yeah. baked beans and kind of like traditions for wherever we were that's missing but right. of course you you can kind of eat your own food which is good too um <laughs> Well, so it's also like really you, you can uh, you can watch in the comfort of your home. There's something there's something good. And about you can that. watch forever for like a year. Like, oh wow! Basically, you can watch the whole event in real wow. time, and then go back and watch talks over and over and over again. Okay, which is so something that's... you can't do with a live show. Right, right. Um, so that's that's awesome. And also, if if you're the kind of per if you're busy and you can't take like all three days off, mm -hmm. you can uh, right. you can say you know what. I, today I'm just going to watch the morning sessions and I'll watch the afternoon sessions next week. It's like, it's all there for you. That's brilliant. You know, and, and we record the Q and A's. So if you miss the live Q and A and come in afterwards, or if you just want to remember what it was, you can watch that too. So yeah, it's like a, I think you guys are, it's daily. a live event. Yeah. And, go ahead. Sorry. Oh no, I was gonna say, I think, I think that's brilliant in, in that format. Like you've really kind of, gotten creative with <clears throat> okay we're going to do this usually live event and how can we make it how can we do the best we can with that and maybe even improve in some ways like do you think that will inform when we're able to get together in person again you, you think that'll change things at all i'd like it to i'd like it to mm -hmm. eric and i and, and and toby and marcy and brad we 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 talk about that um yeah how we can take what the improvements uh and and bring them into the experience of the right. live event yeah, by yeah. the way i should i should add that the event itself is <laughs> april 19th through 21st april 19th 20th and 21st but of course you can attend it later um yeah, and awesome. if you buy spring summit three day pass this month you will get a copy of dan's book 20 bits i learned by dan yeah. so good deal here we are yeah good it is deal. good deal and see so i feel like even though you're not presenting at this upcoming show you're with us in spirit i love um, it i mean i feel like yeah it's like you know well it's like t t chatting with you is always like seeing an old friend which is amazing and uh it is seeing an old friend it really is i mean um, we used to I, have yeah. these uh <laughs> remember we would go to that uh was this little hole in the wall um Vietnamese restaurant? Oh yeah, yeah. Thai, it was thai, thai, thai or Vietnamese? Yeah, I think it was Thai. Yeah. Taste of Thai. Yes. Taste of thai yes. Or curry yeah. leaf. No, or Thai leaf. I don't. Something Thai a... in the Thai basil? No, something like that. That's it. Thai basil. The thai basil. That's yeah. It. Newberry Street, Boston. What's the name of that? Newberry Street, Boston. Yeah. That's Newberry right. Street. Yep. Yeah. So um, a lot hopefully, of good there. hopefully that uh, they've survived. Yeah, I hope so too. And hopefully in we can at go some back point in the future we can go back we gotta yeah. go back we gotta. we gotta go back but but meantime we can do this um which is awesome so like i i just love that it's you're still like i said before you're sort of in, not embracing but you're like uh making the best out of this crappy situation that we're in with not being able to get together 
person. Well, I, I don't make sourdough bread. <laughs> like that would be awesome. I wish I'd learned to make sour. It's my favorite bread. Right. But I didn't learn to do that. But so <laughs> with the help of my colleagues, yeah. my really smart colleagues and our really brilliant speakers, yeah, we're going ahead. And we have like lots of new speakers, um, a few yeah, long time a, speakers. A big list. Um, it's an opportunity. The other nice thing about this is you can have folks, they don't have to be so much from North America and Western Europe. Yeah. They can really yep. be from all over. From anywhere. Um, yeah. Yep. As long as we can find a time zone that they're comfortable doing their live Q&A. So that's yep. opened things up a lot yeah. in a way that might be more difficult if we were flying people all over the world. And oh, I actually, absolutely. I kind of don't miss flying. Yeah. I don't really like flying you know? either. Yeah, yeah. I don't miss that either. I know some, some people I would see like say, I really miss, I just want to be on an airplane. I miss flying. Like, wow. I don't really miss that. So I miss traveling. but <laughs> I miss, yeah. Being somewhere else yeah. is fun. Yeah. But even being outside, I miss being outside. Yeah. I, exactly. I went to, to Brooklyn uh, Sunday and it was the first time I'd been out of my apartment in like a week. And I was yeah. like, I live in a city. There's buildings. There's people. <laughs> because you forget. Like I'm in a way I might yeah. as well live anywhere. I could live in Alaska and it wouldn't be that different. Is New but York that's... quieter? Has it been quieter there or it's never quiet? Oh yeah, that's true. But so, it yeah, is quieter. It still has if there's still a buzz, a buzz in the air. Yeah, I live near a hospital, a bunch of hospitals. Yeah, so it's so, not quiet at all. <laughs> it's convenient. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Look at the bright side. Like, if yeah. I cross the street and get hit by a bus, I'm like, "Hey, this is so convenient." This I'm right, right around the corner, right, right, right near right the there. hospital. But I do hear <laughs> sirens a lot. It's just become sort of music. Like, some people live by a church and hear beautiful church bells. I hear sirens. Si sirens. And, yeah, Oof. and I also live near uh, one of the main on ramps, so I, I hear police cars a lot. Oh yeah, yeah. But it's soothing. Yeah, I can't sleep in the country now. No, it's too quiet. It's too quiet. It's scary. But I have to put quiet. on like rain noise to sleep because I'm I'm. It's quiet where I am, and I got to put on rain noise. That's nice. Yeah, it works though. It's nice. music, music that you're familiar with. Yeah, has the trick for me. Yeah, music that I know. I get uh I, I would get into it too much. Like I would uh if it's if it's a good song, if it's if it's like moving me emotionally, then I would be like, oh, I can't go to sleep. I want to listen to this. But so I think that's yeah. why the with the rain, but um Well, I I don't want to put anyone to sleep. We've been doing no. this a long time. Oh god no. God no. So um so <laughs> <laughs> so let's I um, could go on for Is forever. that Hank Aaron? Who is that behind oh, you? Oh, behind me? No, that's actually uh Big Poppy from the red Sox, yeah it's like a the guy little, in yeah, on saturday david night live david ortiz david, yeah right exactly yeah 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 they okay. uh keenan was it keenan yeah keenan thompson keenan thompson does that's how like i know a great, I, I, yeah he does a great i get uh, my impression. sports knowledge from from comedians <laughs> yeah it's david ortiz i the i don't follow them now but uh that that team back in the what is it 2004 just it was a magical time, and uh, I'm hanging on to that. And I barely follow I, anything now, sports wise. I have to yet to go to a good ball game. I've been to like four baseball games, and every time they were disappointments. I know there's lots of great baseball games. I'm not putting down baseball. It's just my luck that when I go, it's like nobody hits. Yeah, it's, it's like a, nothing. It's no hitter. It's no a runs. toss up, just, really. Right? It can be like the most exciting thing you've seen or the most boring thing you've seen and that's yeah. that's tough about baseball it's a, yeah it's like watching chess masters <laughs> exactly <laughs> like because the pitchers are worse so good. sometimes <laughs> yeah 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 chess masters you can see their faces this is like, yeah <laughs> he must be happy <laughs> yeah well, my friend, it's delightful spending time with you. And if I no, miss likewise. you later today, I will dip back likewise. into this book. 20 bits, bits I learned about design, business, and community. On Twitter, folks can find you at Simple Bits. Yeah, yep. Simple Bits on Twitter, Instagram, everything. 
um yeah, yeah thanks thanks for having com. me yep simplebits.com and uh thanks for having me and Pleasure. i can't wait thank you i'm looking forward to the spring summit and uh me too. Keep, yeah keep rocking over there geez we hope to, we're trying coach <laughs> okay nice thanks jeffrey see ya yeah okay take care thank man. you sir see ya bye-bye everybody bye